Hi, welcome back to Felix Arwell. Today I am working on two rocks. I'm going to be painting them with black, white, copper, and gold. Gold is by Golden and the copper is by Deco Art. And I have, I prepared the paint, the usual one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and a little bit of water. And the video is running three times faster than regular speed to save some time and not make this video way too long. I really like how this is turning out. It looks beautiful. I wonder if it's gonna dry up the same way. Let's get closer. Nice. I really like that effect, kind of spirally. Well, let's see how it dries. I'm gonna leave it alone and move on to the next rock. Now, this second rock it was already pre-painted. It I brushed on some gray color, days prior, and and now I'm applying the black paint, prepping it for the pour. nice look at all that action oh my god i love it i'm in love with these colors this is unusual for me to work with these colors i am really loving this copper it's just beautiful i still need to try the copper by golden i hear that it's really nice now I'm going to create a skin for a future project, a project I have in mind of doing collage. A collage of a moon, cat, and girl. It's going to be a simple cutout. I will be designing the stencil. The steps are I will be making the drawing on, on, on as I normally use cereal boxes as stencils because I have plenty of them. So that's what I'll be doing, cutting out the boxes and then use that as a template to cut out the shapes that I need for that composition.
the knife palette I am applying really really light pressure just it's just technically the weight of the knife palette on top of the paint surfing surfing on the paint you don't want to press on it because it's gonna mess things up looking good i think i am happy satisfied with this result hopefully it'll dry up just as nice somehow it always looks better when it's wet and then once it dries up it looks a bit different acrylic paint and dries darker the colors that you see is not what you're gonna get at the end so here's the collage i was talking about you will find the link to that video right here Now we go back to our rocks, they're dry, nice and dry, no varnish. I will do that next. This one turned out way darker than I thought. The copper is not really appreciated. Maybe if I varnish it, maybe it'll pop a little more, is my hope. I kind of like it, it kind of looks like mysterious, a mysterious onyx rock type of thing. Here's a gold right there, tiny little bit of gold. Oh well, not too exciting, but still I like it. The other rock on the other hand turned out just awesome. I love it. I really do. And I added more copper this copper right here and has less flow troll so more pigmentation less flow troll and on this other section it had way more flow troll so less pigmentation that's why it's, it kind of looks like see-through because it's less pigmentation on the formula but I like this wood looking effect. I don't know, it reminds me of wood, that section right there. I like it. I wonder how it will turn out once it has varnish in it. Okay, and this is the varnish I will be utilizing. It's by Liquitex, high gloss, and it's beautiful. I already used it in other paintings, and it looks beautiful. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna apply only varnish to half of the rock and I'll be doing I don't know if I'm gonna do two layers or three layers but I'm gonna do a light layer of it and let it dry with this one two i will do the same thing only half of it to see how it looks when half of it varnish and the other half not varnish to do a comparison Alrighty, 
Now I'm ready to go for a second layer. This is how it looks. And this container I have here is like a salsa container. One of those to-go food salsa containers and that's where I keep a lot of my paints. They stay there good for a while. It's a, a wonderful way of saving extra paint. If you have children, they can use it for their painting. My grandkids end up using it half the time. If it's getting too old and I don't want it to go to waste, I let them play with it. All right, so this is what this one looked like. Going for the second layer. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go for a third layer on it. The camera doesn't really capture the big difference. It's better with the naked eye. You can see more of a difference. But I definitely, the colors pop with, pop a little more with varnish. So let's get it done. Varnish and see what happens. This one, I think I like it like that. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna just leave it at two layers. And now it's fully varnished. I'm outside with natural light. This is what it looks like. This one too, fully varnished, only two layers, and the other one has three layers. Beautiful. I like it. You see the sky reflected on it? Really nice. I'm really in love with this one. This is indoor lighting, a lot of light, like photography lighting. I just love that section. It's nice. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you have subscribed, thank you. Thank you very much. And over here, you can find in this link, uh, the video to the tiles. They're just a really fun thing to do. Thank you for being part of this channel. And if you are new, please subscribe and like. You will see many more great projects coming up soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.